For those of you that follow my UDI 908, this is number two boat and I've upgraded the transmitter with the Planet TS2 Plus 2 transmitter and also of course the receiver. Now I did get a second receiver after the original one and that also got wet and that was in two balloons. I actually put the receiver in a balloon and then put all of that in a balloon. It still got wet and then I thought I'd try one of these bags and that didn't really do much good. I never actually tried it but the glue that I used to seal it with which was contact adhesive you who it just won't glue to this plastic so that wouldn't create a seal so instead I've got one of these canisters for holding gloves but I can use any sort of plastic container really and what I found is that that puts the receiver in there snugly. There's a little hole in there, in there that is ideal for the receiver aerial. And I've just cut a little notch in there to accommodate the wires. So the receiver goes in nicely and the wires come out of there. The receiver aerial goes into its usual position just there. And that should seal it and keep the water out. It does still close. I've tried that, so that's fine. So that should keep it sealed. I'm gonna put a little bit of glue there and there just to help stop water getting in through those holes. And I've also got some tissue there. That's really just to soak up the water as it comes in and hold it at that end. <sighs> See if this turns out okay. I'm just going to put this under water and see if any air bubbles come out and look for signs of a leak. I'm submersing this. Literally cannot see any bubbles. Tilt it a bit. Hmm. I've also run the prop in water and had the lid off and I still can't see any water coming in through the prop shaft or through the servo mount and yet it gets water in it when it's going at speed. Now I've also put some polystyrene cement around this joint and if you look you can see the receiver is sitting in there and hopefully you might be able to see that there is some room under the receiver because the receiver is rectangular and it's in a round section container. Now I've got a similar container here and I've put four millilitres of water in there and when that is held level it comes up to about there. I think this could hold easily four millimeters of water under that receiver and still keep that receiver dry. As long as the receiver is in the horizontal position, which it should be, it won't move around. It's very tightly packed in there. So with the Yoohoo as sealant and the polystyrene cement gluing this container together, that is all really, really sealed now. It's all held up above where all the water comes in. So although they will get some water in there, there's a tissue here to help soak it up, but also it's well away from this container. And even if capillary action or something else takes it into that container, there's four millimeters of space there. And I should see it in there before it hits the receiver. So that should really keep that receiver nice and dry. Also, all of these receiver connections are being firmly pushed in by the shape of the container. And so they shouldn't come loose. That should be a really good system. I'm really hopeful for this, I hope so. <laughs>